Is Hunter Stone getting you down? Well, if you don't like my double flare Hunter, what if you mashed up not just Odd and not just Dragons, but also the Quest, the Madman? Hey, look, it's a Hunter. Victory or death. It's not like this deck is only good against Hunter either. It's just a, you know. Decent deck overall. None will survive. The mashup is so awesome. Quest! Baku! Dragons! With all the elements combined, I shall defeat Hunter! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Astonishing. Oh my god. It's a turn two magma rager. Unity. Precision. Yeah, it's pretty solid. So that does kill it. Sure. Problem solved. One charge of a three charge weapon has dealt with ten total mana worth of cards. And that was three cards. A uh, small amount of health lost, but that's the point of Odd Warrior. Out of my like, thinking, what in the world is that deck doing? Uh, I'm gonna go with the... Uh, Our Lord? Golden and non golden cards, so it can't be Whizbang. But I haven't seen this Bomb Hunter yet. That's bizarre. Combo, combo. Look at that bomb go. Hmm, good positioning against Super Collider. You can send it here and then take the 50 50. Well, this always dies, and then 50-50 if this dies. Worth. Too bad. And against this deck, I'm not actually in a rush to complete the quest, so I should just keep playing the strongest play each turn. I don't want to scorch her and lose my guy to the goblin bombs, um, spider bomb. One big target. Deadly shot. Eh, who knows if he runs it. I already saw the spider bomb. I think that's a strong enough target to roast. No, I might be wrong. Forgot that you cube that thing and then become the three twelves. Uh, I can roast this, and then create a board full of 312s. That's actually not bad, because the threat level is rather low. If the 4-6 splits into two 312s, I mean the brawl, like, we need to eventually set up for brawl. Sure, this is fine. It looks a little bit insane, but it's fine. Like, the net damage being dealt is 12. And I gain four a turn, and I have this taunt. Seems good. 
<laughs> the Void Ripper Nightmare. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, here we go again. And if only I actually roasted the first Grizzly. That line. 7 4 defeating 3 7s all day. So I punched this. Either this goes into there and then I can play Scorcher. Well, no, that's not good because I would play my own guy. Ah, oh, there we go. Target acquired. Or this goes into there and. Yes, we just don't play Scorcher. Cool. Quest completed. Though it's not necessarily best against this class uh, to change my hero power yet. I think what would be best, especially with this board, what would be best is to wait until he changes the Death Stalker Rexar and then we Sulphurus. So even though I blundered by letting him get his grizzly shenanigans off, like the tank up just and all the taunts protect too much. So even with the best target cubed, not too spooks. This beast will not be tamed. My pack will hunt you down. Separating them from the Super Collider. Also, stickiness against board clear, such as this. No real point to flurry right now. There's only one good target to shoot with the Ragnarok shot right now. No, this one would be good too. So it would be 50 50. And 25% of the time, it would be really bad. I could play this. It's only. An additional 6 incoming damage. This will allow me to get some board presence, uh, allow for the Reckless Flurry to actually do better. There's a few reasons, just get that guy out. Anti-Hunter technology. Need to save this with this. Still need the armor game. The hero power isn't very good. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, the dragon! Okay, I'll just draw one. Draw a dragon wolf. My dragon be hungry! There's only, um, one more dragon in this deck. We gotta remember the low amount of dragons. Probably the best moment for Reckless, yep. Gets 1-5-5, five, five. that's fine. And then maybe it's time to become a self -burst. Yeah, that's pretty good. 2-5-7, we have the taunts to protect us. Interesting. 
The only question is hero power or yes. Nice. Or another phantom militia. I think I may have become Ragnaros a little bit too early. It would have been nice to gain a little bit more health. I did lose the 50-50 and I take five more. Actually, would have been better to send this guy into the. Uh, send this guy into it, then hit that, and then get the 8 damage in there. The good old play, right? Oh, he's going for the life. Life drinker. That'd be sick. Come Deathstalker Rexar, otherwise I would lethal him. So I made two key mistakes here. One, I didn't kill the Witchwood Grizzly. Two, I became Ragnaros too early. Um, that would have been less bad if I had actually hit the minion successfully. I might have played the Dragon Wall Scorcher a bit too early, so that's disabling all of my dragon combos. Aha! Wow. That's cool. Ah, safe. Goblin bombs, goblin pranks. Starting to see the synergy. What a fascinating build of a deck. I mean, it's because he threw me off that I probably wasn't thinking about the Witchwood Grizzly Cube. He just had a very strange opening hand. Well played. Well played. Wait, that doesn't do it. Ah, okay. Praise Rag. If it's Odd Warrior versus Odd Warrior, I'd say the quest has a pretty big advantage because deal 8 damage randomly, uh, outvalues tank up, and outvalues Dr. Boom's ability. None will but we might just be the... This could be a really old school throwback if we're both playing Odd Quest Warrior. This is the race to complete the quest. This uh, particular Odd Warrior matchup, like if he plays the quest, is distinctly not the good old fashioned tank up sleep fest. It's like it's actually a race. Oh my god, it's a race! Uh, Tar Creeper isn't much of a race, I'm just gonna play that on 5 because I have nothing else. I think that's possible, like, unless you have a curve, playing Stonehill on 3 might also be around. Because just tank up and then wait until turn 5. Depends on, like, how fast you can play out your taunts. Sentry is actually a thought because I have Dragon Ball Scorcher to put in the deck. It'd be interesting.
Oh, right, it's not on, although I would have seriously considered it, right. Unity, precision, perfection. So it is a race, but I've been purposely slowing down my race because I see that I have no finish line in sight. Uh, it might be right for him to keep playing them as fast as possible, but when you're the one behind in the race, you have to see if like the finish line is even in sight, and if not, then might as well tank up a bit because every two tank ups at least extends your life by one once they speed up their race. That is the biggest card they have in their deck, especially- oh, it seems like he's playing the the Beast variant. So this is another variant that I have looked into. It runs Amani Warbear, uh, Undasta, and the Witchwood Grizzly. I have decided against running that version because I looked at the win rate, and the Dragon package is overall stronger. It appears. So yes, it's uh, Beast Warrior versus Dragon Warrior. Oh, roasted. Yeah, but Super Collider. Always gotta keep in mind that Super Collider. I will just Shield Slam here. <laughs> I would hate to have Crowd Roaster plus Ember Skill Drake go into each other. The Super Collider play isn't bad here either, like sends it in here and then these go attack each other. Seven. If I draw Shanta Militia, I can match that quest speed roughly. But without, it's gonna be pretty rough. Meh. Yeah, our hand was just worse. That said, though, it's uh, not over. You can finish your quest a few turns behind and still win. I'm really gonna need to draw that Phantom Lish or Stonehill Defender soon. When you think about it, actually. So, with tank up, you gain 4 on the opponent. With hero power, you only gain 8 on the opponent. So, it's only doubling your hero powers with that opponent. I suppose, if I look at it in the grand scheme of things. Maybe it's not falling that far behind. This is fun. Unity, precision, precision. I was like, I should have played Crowd Roast or Hero Power, but this does work also. It digs me towards the taunts. That was better, yes. Scorch or Lance or anything really big. Light the fuses. Pretty good. Oh, there we go.
This makes it about even. Same amount of health. Similar boards. Hand size is bigger, but I have a lot of catch up. So the goal is going to be to keep enough stuff on the board so that the hero power isn't going to hit my face 100% of the time, uh, while also not overcommitting against. Brawl, etc. Uh, that deck doesn't have a lot of one damage things, so I should actually leave these guys on the board. And there was a world where I wouldn't have played this, so... Plus it's only one damage from Swing Blaster. Okay, we're actually ahead. Now we're gonna flip a bunch of coins. Oof, there we go. The dragons showing their power. Just leap way ahead. Don't have to flip coins when you roast them. and then punch. Wow. My dragon be hungry. That escalated quickly. Well Excellent. Hunter victim. Probably spell hunter if they're running that. I mean, the one thing I need to watch out for is one of the things I need to watch out for. Do I want to immediately defender discover or wait until five play this, six play that? I think that one's better. Get a bit of a buffer. Yeah, this little deck. Probably time to wreck this story. I mean, there's only one left. Yeah, that's good. Can a uh, coin crowd roast the last 5-5? Five five? <laughs> Zero out of seven. We'll get there. That needs to die, as I learned from the first game. Crowd roast the 3-4, maybe? Super Collider also kills it, but deals 3 damage to that thing, which doesn't seem important at all. Let's just Crowd Roast, probably uh, follow up with another Crowd Roast. Can't combo it, but cubing this is still annoying. Oh, Super Collider, you're so good! Game over! Now what's my quest status here? Ah. Where's my <laughs> Okay, it's a little painful. A little painful, it's okay. It's fine, it's fine. Man, Dragon Warrior lost. The crowd Roaster is so good. Where's my... Oh my 
God. It's fine. It's fine. What the heck? Not fine. Maybe there's nothing left. It's probably a Witchwood Grizzly. Oh, uh, maybe he drew the Witchwood Grizzly. Ugh. Wow.